When your AC stops working, just call the experts at KS Services Heating and Air. They're fast and affordable. Right now, purchase any Bryant Energy Efficient System and save with 0% interest for 60 months with approved credit. It comes included with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we will always give you three quotes for every situation. A good, better, and best. Call KS Services Heating and Air today. We roll on whatever it takes. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, September the 30th. Gosh, September's just about yeah, finished as we head tomorrow into October. Satellite image this morning shows that just about all of uh, Alabama is clear, although we're somewhat sandwiched between cloudiness over Florida as well as cloudiness over Arkansas and northern Mississippi. We have a cold front that is moving through the area, but we're going to be influenced primarily by that large high-pressure system over the Great Lakes as it slides to the east. In the upper atmosphere, we're coming under uh, ridging at aloft, and that will be the uh, one of the major features for us over the next uh, five to seven days. And it's uh, somewhat cool over the Great Lakes this morning with temperatures near freezing up there and also cool in the central Rockies. We're not terribly cool this morning, although I did note that some of our sky watchers in the northeast having temperatures uh, generally in the uh, upper 50s. But for the airport stations, it looks like uh, we're fairly mild this morning with uh, the morning lows around the mid-60s or so. It looks like the front that uh, is moving through the area will keep temperatures around the 80 degree mark today. Watch warning map is not too busy. We have some flash flood uh, watches over New Mexico. And then all the blues that you see along the northern tier of the United States, uh, those are combinations of frost and freeze advisories and warnings. QPF, if you want the forecast for the next five days, you pretty much have it with this one. Uh, no rain expected over a large chunk of the southeastern U.S. through Thursday morning. Storm Prediction Center has a small marginal risk over northeastern Colorado for day one. Uh, there's a slight risk over parts of Nebraska, uh, the uh, southwest and south central as well as central sections for day two. That's Sunday. And then for Monday, day three, there's a marginal risk extending from the southwest part of Nebraska uh, up to the tip uh, the western tip of Lake Superior. Tropics remain somewhat busy. We have Lee and Maria heading out into the North Atlantic. And then we have two areas of disturbed weather, one uh, in the vicinity of Puerto Rico and one over the peninsula of Florida. As you can see from Maria, she's uh, down to a tropical storm and expected to become post-tropical here in the next uh, day or so. And then the two areas uh, over Florida and uh, near Puerto Rico, they're not expected to develop into anything. All right, the 06 EGFS model run. And there's our surface high spreading across the Great Lakes and bringing a sort of an easterly and northeasterly flow across our area. In the upper atmosphere, we can see the, the deep trough over the mid-Atlantic states that is being replaced for us by the ridge over the lower Mississippi River Valley. The ridge comes into place. Uh, extending all the way from the southeast U.S. Uh, up into southeastern Canada on uh, Sunday. And uh, on uh, Sunday, we're going to be watching as the surface high goes uh, over Pennsylvania and New York. And while we typically want to see a stronger high than that to generate a, uh, a wedge pattern, it does look like uh, sort of a wedge pattern. So Sunday could be a coolish day. Uh, for us with uh, the high generally in the uh, upper 70s, but that will certainly feel nice. By Monday, the ridge is in place. We do have a very deep trough over the western part of the country, and uh, you can see the high moving into southeastern Canada and the New England states, the surface high. The ridge is in place Tuesday and stays there again on Wednesday, although it's showing signs of moving back to the west a little bit. Uh, as the system out over the northwestern United States begins to come out. But that keeps us under the, the surface high that is uh, over the North Atlantic, and that keeps us dry. Thursday, uh, the ridge still holding strong over the southeastern U.S., but migrating more of a center over Texas. And we see that continuation of that migration on Friday as a very strong shortwave comes into the central U.S., 
And that strong short wave will be generating a surface low, according to the GFS, uh, in the vicinity of Iowa, uh, northeastern Missouri, and uh, the western parts of Illinois, and dragging a cold front down into Texas. By the time we get to Saturday, that system is beginning to come out into the eastern Great Lakes, so we'll be dragging a uh, front down our way. Uh, as you can see, the GFS suggesting that it's probably going to be uh, dry, uh, but there's a lot of uh, tropical moisture coming from that second system that's in the vicinity of Puerto Rico that is uh, approaching the southeast U.S. coast. Now, there's some pretty big model differences. Uh, there's a look at the European. Now, they both have a front, but the European doesn't have as strong a surface feature. And it also, uh, the European is uh, a little more bullish on developing that tropical system over the Bahamas. So model differences that far out, eh, we see that all the time. So we'll have to be watching for that. So no firm forecast that far out just yet. In the upper atmosphere uh, on Monday, looking out into voodoo country, we see that nice strong trough coming in. So that looks like the front should move our way. So it looks like on the Sunday, Monday time frame, the possibility of some showers. By the time we reach Wednesday, around the 11th of October, that trough has moved out into the North Atlantic. And once again, we're coming under a very uh, stout ridge over the central part of the United States. And that ridge more or less stays with us till the very end of the period, uh, around 348 hours or the 14th of October, as we see a strong trough coming across Canada and the Great Lakes. Uh, that's dampening down the ridge, but uh, the storm track definitely holding well to the north. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. I hope that you have a great day and enjoy the fine weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Godspeed. AC broken? Just call KS Services Heating and Air. All Bryant energy efficient systems come with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we'll always give you three quotes for every situation. Just call KS Services Heating and Air today.